Four teenagers are facing charges following an overnight break in at Cranston High School West. We first told you about the break in on Eyewitness News at noon and new at five tonight. We're learning about the damage the suspects allegedly caused inside the school. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us now with the new details. Eric. Mike, three of the teens considered adults are all out on personal recognizance. Before this, the prosecutor says they all had clean records. The parking lot at Cranston West High School sits empty on this last day of February break. But early this morning, police say there were some unwelcome guests. Robert Urgiano, Brianna Belial, and Eli Sanders are all facing charges of breaking and entering, vandalism, and conspiracy connected to an early morning incident at the high school. A minor is facing the same charges. None of them are students at the school, but Ruggiano told the judge he used to go there. According to Cranston police, they broke into the school's auditorium just before 5 this morning and made a mess inside while one was a lookout in a car. A burglar alarm alerted police. Police say paper towel dispensers were broken off the walls in the bathroom, seats were tipped over in the auditorium, banners and flags were vandalized, and trash was emptied all over the floor. In court, the judge told one of the defendants, quote, this is not some prank. You're an adult now, and the stuff you do is going to stick to you like glue. And the defendants did not enter pleas because they're dealing with felony charges. They're due back in court in May. Cranston School COO tells me that they'll have a better idea of the cost of the damage next week. I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.